So, hello everyone. It's day 105. Uh, Joe Wicks has gone to a different place now. A studio in the middle of nowhere with really bad Wi Fi, so he keeps cutting out, but we're still doing it. Um, today isn't quite as exciting as it was going to be, but I can't tell you why. Um, still going to the tip. Still going to the tip. Out Canoe content. We should be fun on its own. And I've got my usual stuff I've got to do. Um, apart from that, it's looking a bit nanky outside. Wind's still mental. Isn't it, Mum? Mum's working. And the kids are back to school. So we best get on. What are we doing now, Joe? Not a clue. Look. It's broken again. He's going fuzzy. <laughs> Climbing the ropes. Isn't he? Down with your life will drive. Going back to the classics today. Right, so we are at Tesco for our two shops of the day, aren't we, Charlotte? Mm -hmm. uh, these are now mandatory, that, that was, as far as was, I'm concerned. That was weird because I just, um, I was eating palm violets and I got two palm violets left and we're going for two shops. How weird. Um, so yeah, these are mandatory in the Bournemouth household now when we go out shopping, even if our inconsequential, inconsequential government can't sort it, so it should be, it should be mandatory, especially in a crowded shop like I'm going to go in now. So I'm wearing one, Charlotte's wearing one after she's finished her farm of violets. We're going to hit two shops and then, uh, yeah. So and with a scanner. You'll get we just got confirmation of something exciting arriving this afternoon. Um, so that's good. So you'll see that later. Um, so yeah, best get on. I j you just missed a live alert. Well, like this close to beginning a live alert, wasn't it? So you can't have shots. Sorry. Right, I'll see you okay, later. Richard and Charlotte are out, so I'm having to video this on my own. Uh, decanted the elderflower from here into here. She's now straining the gin infused liquor off. So then going into here. Uh, let's cover it over. Oh, there we go. Cover it over so it looks like that. Uh, that's got the sugar syrup in. Whoa, it blows your socks off. Still three more weeks of waiting, but uh, it is ready to drink now, but it says recommend leave it for a little bit longer. Mmm. Pile of, mmm, yeah. So, it's well, Richard. So here I am, it is 10 to one, and I'm only having a little bit, so I'll still be on a drive to this afternoon, and I'm gonna have some food after this, so it'll be a good hour, two hours before I drive again. Um, I'm about to have a little bit of Sarah's Aldiflower Gin, only a little bit. Tasting. Homemade. <laughs> it's good stuff. Right, Sarah, you can try a bit now. No, Sarah, I've got a drive this morning to this afternoon. This is yours now. Oh, Ryan's having some. Shut, shut, shut. Ryan said it tastes like trees. <laughs> Oh, right, and there we go. Earthy. So, uh, going to the tip. How exciting. First tip running. Wow. That's five months. <laughs> okay. Um, this is Dad's old mattress, isn't it, Mum? Yeah. I've <laughs> been waiting for the tip since we got the new one. Mm-hmm. Oh, was I'm about... you go down. Okay. Day. Day mm hmm Oh no. <laughs> Open doors. I'm watching the pictures. Alright, open doors. Try open doors. <laughs> Dad, I'm still videoing. Shall I let it go? Big mattress. Big mattress on campus. Looks it looks comfy but it wasn't. Oh, correct, yeah. <laughs> Where is this going? Into this boot. <laughs> Bit off the shed, isn't it? Bit of the shed. Yeah. Bit off the shed on the mattress. What I've have got you this got? hedge trimmer that <gasps> no one wanted and it's got a bit rusty. <laughs> there you go. No hedge, and we got no a hedge, hedge. trimmer from your dad. Look, look. No hedge. No hedge. No hedge. No hedge. Okay, let's stop that one, Charlotte. Now do it again, and we've got some more. Yeah. That's 
Just wanting wet. What are these, Mum? Lights. Old lights, what don't oh. work. What have you got this time, Dad? I've got a carousel, which is scrap metal, and a bit of scrap metal, which is the old fire pit, which got rusted in horrible. You got that, that, I got all this. Yeah. That's the way it works. <laughs> Good work, wasn't it? Good work. Everything, poor mattress, poor mattress. Mm -hmm. Just go in the carport for you. The rest of the stuff we've got. All that. Helpful, Henry. Rusty blade. <laughs> Rusty blade. Rusty blade. That's off the shed, Dad. The old shed is gone. Where was this from? Back of the shed. This is John's. How are you feeling? I'm having a great day again. Stuff. Stuff. Do you want to get Charcoal. Everything else can go normal good. We'll do that in a minute. Yeah? Mm. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, but it's really full, isn't it? Stuff in the boot. That's all stuff in the boot. You're going to have to do some serious. Mattress. <laughs> what do you just put in the bin? All the stuff out what was in there. And stick. And stick. Live alert, live alert. We are going on a tip run, but I just had another alert. Very busy day today, and I think that is going to be, I'm going to guess a pharmacy. So that is now, after we've done the tip run, we now have, if you include couples, so and that two, so a wife and a, a husband who both need it, I think 11 medicinal things we have to deliver this afternoon. Well, I've just got to get this chap down and then uh, we'll carry on. Cool, safe. So, an argument about rigid plastics, but I think we're fine. It's all gone. It's all gone. The tip's all gone. Um, a bit of a lackadaisical attitude at the Skegness tip, but I like that because it wouldn't be the Skegness tip if it, if it wasn't. I mean, they're actually checking when you come in, so that's good. But it's so much more relaxed. Usually it's just con constant, just tipping. And I liked it. It was like less strenuous. So I think from now on, I, I constantly want the tip to run like this. And just a relaxed attitude of tipping. So yeah, if you want a nice day out, you can have a couple of them if you can, and uh, get down to the skeggy tip. It's, it's a nice time, I buy all. It's a busy day today. <laughs> <laughs> just got back from busiest um, prescription run ever, nine prescriptions. That's wow. the most I've ever done at one time. Wow. So, I'm done. I, I asked the gentleman at Boots if there's been anyone else in this week. He says no um, to pick up prescriptions. So, I think a lot of people have gone back to work. I'm just concerned to be what happens when I stop. But I guess they'll work something oh, no. out. And, uh, you know, that's for them to sort out. Um, I, I, I can't do anything about that. Um, I might ask the ladies tomorrow to oh, see what no. they say. So, <laughs> please stop it. <laughs> Right, um, I'm now currently working out the mon virtual Monopoly run for my scouts tonight, which sounds a lot more fun, and it will be a lot more fun than it will be trying to sort it out for the next hour. So I'm going to get on with so that it's now. it's pork chops with uh, spinach and leeks. Spinach and chicken leeks and this weird gravy on. <laughs> I and like weird gravy. Sweet corn, um, roast potatoes, carrots and broccoli. Yeah. 
Um, so I asked Sarah if we could get some more pets, but she just said pets are a step backwards. So that's day 100 and... 105, done and dusted. About to start a computer game, gotta be quick. You've seen what it's been like, mostly tip action today. Ridiculous amounts of uh, prescriptions, couple of shops. See you tomorrow, day 106, Tuesday, more tip action. Hopefully. And hopefully that exciting delivery, hopefully and hopefully something else very exciting. See you tomorrow, take care of yourself, love each other, be safe.